So normally when I'm walking to work, it's dark out. As you can see, it is not dark out right now because it's 6.30. I'm just now headed to the office. So I made a trade with Julia. The nature of that trade cannot be disclosed because this is a PG rated episode. But I'm going to drive the kids to school. Are you ready now? Are you sure? Can we go? No. Please? <laughs> Bill Colt! Good morning, Bill Colt! Richard, do not post that anywhere. <laughs> Breakfast in the car today. It's one of those days where you gotta run around a lot. I'm headed to Charlotte now. Two or three appointments up there. Gotta be back in Monroe by three. That means breakfast in the car. Doing the last walk through on this place in Selwyn Farms. Ken will be here to photograph it in a little bit. I left that house that's fixing to be photographed and realized there were a bunch of cobwebs everywhere outside, so I ran over to Lowe's to get this 18 foot tall cobweb getter. Catch me in the kitchen like the Simmons with impatience. for a surprise visit to the schoolhouse with macaroons for the children. Did you see me? Yeah. I was trying to sneak up on you. I think it's vanilla. Oh, I hate vanilla. You realize that all of the other kids have parents too, right? Stop. They have parents too. <laughs> oh, please. It doesn't say where it's from. You know what it is? I don't feel like it's gonna be something tiny and I love it. <laughs> people. Hi. And she said, oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I said, no, that's it, they're, it's $50. So you have written down that you have three bottles that we're in. What she wrote on the receipt, it shows, oh, shit, you shouldn't have been talking to me. The way your phone is positioned. It's 645. Lulu pointed out today that she actually does eat vegetables. Is that educational? I don't know. So I'm back at the office wrapping up a couple of things before I head home for the evening. Cleaning out my email, I've got one from Lloyd here. He wants me to find the owner of an apparently abandoned property that's here in Monroe. The owner lives in Miami, Florida, and her name is Maria Lopez. Good night, y'all.